Good evening. I'm Cheryl Elgie from Kerrang in Northern Victoria. And I just wanted to show you a different, I think it's different to a lot of, lot of what other people have done with the hydrangea set. I actually haven't touched this one since I made a beautiful 70th card for a, a lovely friend. So I'm um, just going to share that. Okay. Go away, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Silly notifications. Hi Leanne. Yeah, so it's a warm day here in Kerrang. It's still 31 degrees. Can you believe it? And it is March. So, just want to show you how I got my colours. I saw a photo of some hydrangeas. Um... And they were a beautiful, blue. this is Pacific Point. Let me just explain what else I'm using here in a minute. Um, and this is called a smooshing technique. So you could either spray it with, actually I think I want to spray my paper. This is just a bit of scrap because I've actually done my pieces that I'm going to use tonight. Because I didn't want you sitting around waiting while I... Well, I did them and left them to dry. So that's just got a couple of drops of the frost white, frost white, um, hmm, what does it say? It doesn't say what it's called. Frost white paint, I think it's called. I can never remember the name. Anyway, it's that, all purpose frost white. And it um, will be where the embellishments are. I'm not sure what page. So all this is, is some of that and some icicle. If you've gone out and bought the alcohol I, I used last week, that would be fine. But I, I, I've got that. I've got them both because that's the one we always used when we wanted to spritz anything. So you don't necessarily need to spritz it. If you don't want to, you can just spritz it with water or you don't need to spritz it at all. And then I'm just going to take... And with this, you can either spritz it with your, there's my paper towel. I could spritz that with that, or I could use a bit of Winker Stella. I actually might, it was easier to use this because I just dropped a bit of um, liquid on here. It's very warm tonight, as I've just said, so I'm not sure how much I've got left in here might not be enough. Then you just grab, this is just glad wrap, or whatever you like to call it, cling wrap. Just go like that. And all you're going to do is just dot it all over your paper. You can see where I went in there first, That's that's gone a bit darker. But you do want a bit of, and this one I haven't spritzed at all, so just show you the difference is square down here. So you don't necessarily have to spritz it. I just did that in case I thought that I needed to afterwards and I didn't want to have to do it twice. But I probably shouldn't have gone straight on there because that's, yeah, that's gone a bit funny. Anyway, that's how I got my background and then, let me just put that over there so I don't get my fingers in it. I'm just going to get a Baby wipe. Hi Denise. Hope you've got a cuppa or a wine. You're a bit tired after what you've been doing today. <coughs> um, so these are my pieces. Now where's my die? Here it is here. Which I've cut out. So these pieces, I did the same thing on my piece of... I wanted to use, you could use shimmer, but I wanted to use the Whisper White because it's... I haven't used my stash of Whisper White yet. I did panic a little bit when we were told that we weren't going to be able to get it anymore. So I didn't I didn't do the toilet paper thing, but I, every time I wanted to put an order in, I did grab myself. And I've always got a bit in reserve anyway. So, so then I've taken this die here and I've ran my pieces, the ones that I just did there. I've ran that through the big shot and then you end up with this 
And where's my... Then you need to... You can see I've got a little bit of variation in the colours of my hydrangeas. This one's a bit lighter. But I actually thought I might leave that like that and see how that worked out. Then I flipped them over to the back. Because these little flowers, they kind of pop out. So just get your... Your... Um, scoring tool part of your take your pick set and just push those little flowers so that they poke out from the front a little bit so they're not they're not really I don't know what the trick is with these they don't sort of I don't find they pop out unless you actually do that with your finger and your thumb Make sure they're popped out enough to make a nice flower. Yes, I haven't used this for so long. Sue's birthday was the 24th of December, so that's how long since I've used it. So I thought I'd better get it out again and show it some love. Those ones are popped out fairly nicely. And then you can cut out with the same die, you can cut out these. Oh, there's one that hasn't popped out. There's the other pokey thing. These little flowers will pop out of there, which is very handy. And the other thing I did, I pre did in advance, was I stamped, where's the stamp set? So I just stamped, this is um, Granny Apple Green. I just stamped in Granny Apple onto Granny Apple, just this one, and then I've just die cut the whole thing with this die here, and then I'm going to layer my my flowers onto that, but I'm going to make like a little bunch, so I'm actually going to trim my flowers, and then you could have, I didn't do that, you could cut this filigree leaf out over the top and pop over the top. I have done it for another one that I will show you when we're done. So that's that and you also get a couple of cute little little dies that you can um, cut sentiments out with these are lovely I did a I did a card for my granddaughter um, she was returning to uni last week and the ones like the world is better because of you you make me smile you are capable of amazing things and just with love and I actually, for Aaliyah's card, I actually used this. This was wonderful. I used that over the top of the sentiment. So I stamped off and just used that. It was like a wash over the sentiment. You know how you, when you do a sentiment, you want to, you want to accent it by um, cutting out something with the same colour around it? Well, you didn't really need to with this because you could get the, get the, uh, a pale colour. Can't show you the card because it's gone to Geelong now. So <laughs> yeah. anyway, I'll stop gabbling on and I'll get on with it. So uh, this is our card front. That's my insert, I think. Oh, they're both the same anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So what did I do? I left one. Should be easier to work out the second one. I left one, I didn't um well first of all we've got to put the got to put the flowers onto the onto the green bit. And I wasn't worried about the flowers the green showing through because that's what happens with real flowers, isn't it? I'm just gonna stick that one on there. They're behaving a bit better like yesterday when I was doing these cards I I had trouble. I was going round and round the mulberry bush trying to get the flower to line up. But tonight, they're playing nice. So we'll do, we'll just put them all on there while they're on the stem. Might be easier. Maybe that's why I've had trouble. No, you have got to go round and round the mulberry bush with this one. By the looks. That looks like it's that bit. No, I always think I'm clever and that's it and it's not. No, 
Oh, come on. Put the glue down. There we go. Just try and line that up as best you can. Oh, the glue's come through onto my fingers. That wasn't planned. Just one more to do. Try and get that. Hmm. It's never where I think it's going to be. Is that it? That's it. Now I won't squish it down as hard with this one because otherwise I'll get glue all over my fingers again. The holes where it's coming through. There we go. Now I want to do a little bit of um, oh, you silly thing. A little bit of trimming here. So I couldn't just to explain why I'm doing this. I didn't want the stems all over. Oh, could I do that? Let's see if I could. I didn't think I could when I, oh, maybe I can. Maybe I just need to cut the leaves off. Yes, I'll leave the stems on and I'll cut the leaves off. Which ones do I want to cut them off? Probably the bottom ones. Yeah. I'll cut it off the bottom ones. Cut the leaves off. And reattach them randomly so then we'll have we have that one there that one kind of there Not that one up up there a bit and there and then that one I'm going to actually cut the leaves off him as well. I think I can't really see what I've done there because the ribbon's over the top. Yeah, I think I cut them off. Let's just see if we like the look of that or not. Yeah, I might just leave those leaves like that. So I want... I want to have three that you can see quite clearly. It always takes me a while to work out exactly where I want things. But I want those stems showing down there. I think I actually do have to cut them off because they're not they're not going to be showing where I want them to be. We can do a bit of surgery here and then we can reattach. Hi Maxine. Did you get your order today, love? I think you were meant to. Thank you so much. This is just a little bit tricky. Oh, goodness. So I've got that one going there. Not there. And then this one. I'm trying to go here. This one here. But I think we've got to come down a bit. We'll get there eventually, guys. There's no rush. I put that where I want it because I actually put these stems in on my other one I had to pull the pull the, the leaves up and stick them underneath because I didn't quite get them in the right spot that one I want kind of I don't want it to look like a big ball of stuff if you know what I mean 
want it to look I want it to look natural I'm not the best at arranging flowers but I think that one will need to go there otherwise he's going into fresh air isn't he there and there and if we put that one in the center let's just I want that one down a bit I reckon just put a bit of glue might have actually popped this one up but that was when I had the luxury of having all day to um, work out where I wanted it to go now you can go down a bit you can go up a bit oh everything's sticking to me I don't want it symmetrical. I'm trying to make it look natural. There. I think I'm happy with that. I don't know if I put, I put glue on there. I don't think I did. So I wasn't sure if I had them in the right spot. I'll just put a bit, a bit more on there. sticking on the front and it's sticking to my fingers it might be the frost white no, shimmer paint that's what it's called why couldn't I think of that before anyway don't fiddle just just get it done get that sticky stuff off my hands I hate being sticky now just just work out where I'm going to put these extra leaves. So I had one around there. I didn't texture my leaves either, did I? I'm not gluing them down till I'm happy with the placement. I had two there by the looks. One up here. I'll just put that little one there. It won't be exactly the, rocks, the same spot as the, the other one, but that won't matter. Um, I had two there, so we might do, might do that. And then we can have another one up here, I reckon, like that. No, maybe I want this one up there. It's a bit, a bit bigger. Might look a bit better. And oh, maybe that one can go there. Yeah, I think that looks all right. The glue again and glue these down. could texture um, you could dimensional these I think I may have on my first one but because it's a little bit fiddly I thought I'll just stick them down tonight without any dimensionals there we go now oh I had more leaves there well that's enough we don't need any more now these are from do I bring that out there yeah, these little flowers here are from this set called pierced blooms and they are so pretty they're all um, they're all stitched these little flowers gorgeous I could have actually used that bow Cut it out of the cardstock. Yeah, I just thought in the 
picture that I saw. Oh, I know what I've forgotten. I've forgotten the rhinestones. In the picture that I saw, it had little white... Oh, I lost... Oh, no, here it is. It had little white flowers, sort of like it was in a... In a... Um, like a bunch of flowers. So, and I thought, oh, that looks good. So, and then I've... These little ones that I've cut, I thought I might just strategically place. Um, I sort of wanted to put them in between where the flowers were. If that makes sense. Three, oh, no, I had 11, so four, five, six, seven, eight, You don't have to put these um, flowers, but just gives it another, an extra dimension. Now I've got to find my glue spots. Much easier to put them on once you've put the, that's if you can see the glue. <laughs> I'm having trouble. And to texture them all, well, that's all I did, just press down on that. Now where did I put the glue there? Oh, there it is. A bit hard to see. Oops. I'm going to have to run and get the rhinestones in a sec. Knew I'd forget something. Wouldn't be me if I didn't forget something, would it? Arrived yesterday. Ours got here today, so... Um, Di hasn't got hers yet. It's sitting on the bench over there. <laughs> Hi Gail. There we go. A few more here. Love hydrangeas. I used to um, grow them, but I don't know. I had them in pots, and I just got tired of pots, so I let it all let it all go. I just grew them from a cutting from a friend up the road. I had pink ones mainly. I even I've got a stack of these flowers. I might even put a few more on. There's one there. Um, yeah, I might put one there. Put one there. Oh, there is one there. Can't see for looking. Well, that might be enough, otherwise I'm going to double up. I'm going to have flowers on flowers, aren't I? So I'm going to put these ones down. Where do I want them? Oh dear. Get off my finger. The string, I need the string as well. I just put that away thinking I didn't need that, but I need to I'll stamp this um, little tag first. It's stuck on my finger. Ah! Oh. And then it moves. With just a for you. Should be able to get that straight because it's a load of polymer. I'm just making sure that's all linked up. It's a bit hard to tell. Yep, that's all good. Oh, what happened there? Stamped perfect on there and then messed up on my little tag. Maybe I pressed too hard. I'd like to clean it in between. Let's see. Let's do it on my chamois. That's 
okay. Looks a bit shiny. Maybe I got a bit of um, the spray on there. Maybe that's why it went a bit funny. Won't press down as hard this time. That's better. Okay. Clean you again, and I might. While I've got the ink open, I might do the inside and the envelope. Just gonna do them with. I haven't got a bin. I'll put that over there. Everything's flying around because I've got the cooler on. Just going to do a little with this little half flower. Just going to put that up in that corner and down in this corner. And the same on the inside. And I'll leave it blank because it just says for you, so you could use it for any occasion then. need to find my string and my rhinestones and then we're just about done. Just back in a sec. String through here. Twine, not string, is it? It's twine. Same thing. My ribbon scissors. Should turn the curl down a bit, it's blowing everything around. Thanks, Sharon. Using up a bit of fast fuse. I think this is um, my second last one. Had to get a new one out last night, so nearly, nearly used that up. And I think I'm just about out of snail too. I might put that. I'll put that on the card front as well before we do those other bits. just really like the this blue the Pacific Point such a pretty blue love it so I might just put the rhinestones oops cooler blowing everything what did I do on my other one yeah I did I put the bigger ones on these little flowers I want to do it before I put the ribbon because I had trouble poking it in amongst the ribbon before don't really need all these they do have um, pearls that go this set does have pearls that goes with it but I felt they were a bit big anyway they were the wrong color for, for this card I did try them on the other card that I made that I'll show you in a sec Is that the only three I've got on there is it looks like I've got two there I do I think no, it's the, it's the um, glue coming out. We'll just see once we've done this, see whether we need any more or not. More flowers, I mean. Can't see where my double ones are. There, there must be one there yeah, up the top. Mm, 
Maybe I need another flower down there, I think. One there. There is one there that I've forgotten to do. that other one I found there. Very hard to see, aren't they? They're not stuck either. I think I've got them all. I can come back later and fix that anyway if I don't. Now I just need to put the ribbon and our little tag, I think. Yeah, we'll stick the ribbon there. Once I've tied a bow, I always find it hard to remember which side I which side I meant to be the front of it. I think this is it though. And I always like to put a little bit of I like the glue dots to position it in place quickly, but I also like a little bit of wet glue for longevity because sometimes the little glue dots go hard after a while and they, the um, embellishments tend to drop off I feel. Depends how long you're going to keep it for and I'm not sure how long because I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. Now, let's get a dimensional for that tag. I think. I think I'm going to pop that just right there, so it looks like it's tied on to the um, bunch of flowers. So there you go. And there's my other one I did yesterday. I used the pointier flowers on that one because I'd already cut those. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use them or not. You can see all my glue there, but um, yeah, so that's that one. That one. I'll just show you what else is available in that set as well. And this one I, I made yesterday as well. I've used the mercury glass acetate, which I'll show you. It comes in Highland Heather um, and the Cocoa Rose. And with it, I do do it the sticky tape. It has a film on it that you should remove. So you can either get your, I do with me take your pick the other, the other the pokey one. You can either use that or you can use a bit of sticky, well use a bit of sticky tape. Don't put the sticky tape on the pretty side. You can actually use it the other side as well though. Just going over here to find the sticky tape. So just to show you, so you just put the sticky on there and pull it back. And nothing happens. <laughs> Maybe I took it off there, did I? Well, Maybe I did. Let's just say I didn't think I had. rub worked yesterday there we go and the whole lot of that film just comes off okay you could use it that side too if you didn't want the purple or the pink you could use the gray side or the silvery side it's quite pretty that and I haven't done enough with that either sort of had my had my um, length of time with this catalog cut short by tragedy so haven't explored it as much as I should have. So there's that one and all I've done, oh, I was going to explain what I did. I started out, I was going to do a technique I saw Sarah show, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. So I started out, I've 
you can see that there, I've um, die cut these out of um, DSP. Not this D, not the DSP that goes with it. DSP is designer series paper. That one is the one that goes with it. I'll show you that now. But the green was out of um, not artistry blooms. It was the the other arty one that's in the in the main catalogue in the annual catalogue, and it's got all the um, on one side it's got different variations of colour and on the other side it's got splashes of colour like an artist has painted it. I was going to write the name down, sorry, and I've forgotten. So this is the beautiful DSP that goes with this set. So that's the stripy one that I've used there. And then I've just used the this one, just cut, die cut my flower out of that, no stamping required there. I've just um, done my little tag. That's one of the pearls that go with them. And yeah, just die cut. There's really hardly any stamping on that one because I've just, and or on the one that I've done tonight because I've just done that. And then I've just used a bit of leftover mercury glass for the inside. And on the envelope, I just did the same as I've done on the one tonight with the little flower. So I thought that was quite pretty, that one. And I'll show you the rest of the DSP. So yeah, as I was saying, I was going to do Sarah's um, paper piecing technique and then I did that one and then I changed my mind because the stamp set I was uh, had my heart set on using it wasn't going to work so I thought let's just do hydrangeas I haven't given them enough love and you could have I could have used the pink in the mercury glass and I could have used the pink flowers for my pink hydrangea for something different which I was going to do but I thought you know you don't need to you don't need to see me do all that, that's pretty simple. And this one, this is really pretty. This is probably my favorite sheet in there. You could make, really make a beautiful card with this paper and just a sentiment. Just gorgeous, isn't it? All the piece, I don't think there's any piece in here that I don't like. Or maybe there is. I don't, I'm not fond of that one. I don't dislike it, but I'm not fond of it. But hey, guess what? I love the other side of it, so it doesn't matter that I don't like that side, does it? And there's the pink again. The pink one has got the stripey on the back, and these little flowers are gorgeous too, with the, the um, flowers that you can cut out to make your hydrangeas. And there's that one with the blue. That one, I think I showed you that, did I? Got the pretty purple on the back, and this one, oh, how gorgeous is that? For a scrapbook page, you could put that that down the bottom, just cut around that, or not not even cut around that, just use that as your page. It'd be just gorgeous. Yeah, really pretty. Oh so, yeah. So that's all for tonight. Just a reminder that um, people that shop in March, there'll be, there'll be a prize draw. I haven't decided what I'm going to give you yet. It'll be a surprise. So thank you for joining me and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.